Hey guys, and welcome to this fifth and final part of my Mega Drive mod series. Today we're going to be applying the finishing touches to this Mega Drive, as at the moment we don't have a connected power LED. So what we want to do is basically add ourselves a nice little double color LED. Now these things are really tiny. I don't know whether that's going to focus in right now, but you know I'll show you it properly later on. So these these are uh, these LEDs basically have three legs. Your center leg is your ground and then you've got the two lives here. I can't quite remember which leg gives you the color, the specific color. I think the longest leg gives you green and the shortest leg gives you red. So what we want to essentially do is where the existing power source and ground point for the uh, original LED sits, we're going to take um, a live from there to our overclock switch and that live will go in the center position on the switch um, and then we'll run two cables from uh, either end of the overclock switch straight to our LED and then we'll we will connect the ground directly to the ground on the motherboard here basically so what the switch is essentially does is it just changes the current like the path of the current um, from here hits the switch then you select where the power is going to go. So it's either going to go to this leg on the outside, which will give you the red, or this leg, which will give you the green. So uh, that's basically what we're going to be doing today. So um, let's get the Mega Drive open and let's get cracking. Okay, guys, I'm not sure how easy this is going to be for you to see, but at the moment, this is where our LED is currently sitting and because of the difference in the plastic on this machine there's no really clean way to get this current led out of this bit of plastic so unfortunately i'm going to have to drill um into this plastic and you know basically damage the top which i'm not in the last mod that i did obviously I've, I've, i think i've explained it before you there was there's like uh, some well some tops will have um, a tab a tab area which will allow you to pull out the uh, plastic bit. I'm just, I don't know whether you can pick that up or not. It allow you to pull out this plastic area and then you can just whip the LED straight out of the front there, meaning you don't really have to mess around. But uh, this one, unfortunately, it's more of a sealed unit, so. Um, we're gonna have to unfortunately drill this out so I'm just gonna I'm basically that's that's the first job um, in hindsight I would have preferred to have done this um, before all this lock was connected down here because now you know drilling is quite an annoying process when you've got to be careful of all these wires so I think just because of the order I wanted to do these mods in um, obviously I wanted to leave everything that invo was involved in the LED mod till last Personally, I would have done this mod, if I do this again, I would have done this, this part of the mod in the same time that I was drilling the holes for the, uh, you know, the switches, etc. So just to bear that in mind, so, you know, in the order of things, doing the LED last is obviously what you need to do because you need to set, you know, all your switches up and stuff. But do this bit as early as possible, basically, because this is a nightmare um, with all this cabling there anyway. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and drill this out now and then we'll come back and uh, start working on what we need to do. Okay guys, so there you can see our LED hole has been drilled out there. It's quite clean actually, it's not too bad. And um, because of the shape, our new LED fits in quite snugly actually. Um, we'll probably just need to use just a little bit of hot glue uh, once we've uh, soldered it all together and that, just to make sure it doesn't fall out. Um, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with that actually. So um, let's move on to the next bit. 
Okay guys, so I'm just gonna quickly find out which, um, which color corresponds to which leg on the LED. Um, so I'm gonna use the original terminal point for the old LED. Um, white is your ground, so make sure white goes in on the center pin. And then slide your LED into the connector. Make sure it goes all the way through. There we go. And add some power. So there we go, the shortest leg is green. So therefore you know that the cable you want to go to whichever color you want um, for the switch position. So in my case, I want the stock position, i.e. the seven megahertz on my overclock mod. I want that to show a green LED, as like safe modes almost. Um, so I need to make sure the right wire goes to the right leg. So that's basically all I wanted to do there. Um, so next, what we really need to do is start cutting our cables uh, to the right length because what we're, what we're actually going to do is we're gonna take um, our live from this source and feed it straight to the switch here. Um, up the back here, sorry, it might not be in shot actually, but uh, straight to our overclock switch basically. And then we run two wires off the switch directly to our LED, either leg, and then uh, we take our ground from here as well, and that will go soldered directly to the LED. So uh, let's stop. I'm just gonna quickly prep for that, and then we'll come back and uh, start the soldering process. Okay guys, so the first thing you wanna do is prep your LED. Um, just get your wires round the legs, uh, get the right colors round. So I've used orange for the red and green uh, green here for the green color obviously and then I've got me black in the center leg for the ground um, so you can solder them to the legs I, I, I did that on my first uh, first uh, attempt at this and um, it, it will work but I, I just think that winding them around the legs it, you know it just makes it a little bit more sturdy and then obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap some insulation tape around each leg just to uh, keep it all nice and compact so that nothing unwinds or anything um, whilst putting this mod together or in the future when you might want to take your case to pieces and maybe do some other stuff so just get your uh, just get your LED like this um, and then uh, we'll move on to the next bit okay guys so once you've finished prepping your LED uh, what we're gonna need to do next is attach our green and orange or red wire to the switch and we need to attach um, one end of our live cable. So I'm gonna be using a blue cable for that because I've run out of colors basically. So uh, we're gonna be um, using blue for our live. So what we need to do obviously next is we just need to apply some solder to our switch um, and then we need to get these cables in. So let's go ahead and do that. So there you go guys, there's our points done. So we want to be attaching our green cable to the bottom one and our orange cable to the top one. And then we're going to put one end of our blue cable which will carry our live signal into the center. Um, so uh, let's quickly uh, solder those points up and we're almost done really. So uh, catch you in a sec. Okay guys, so let's get our cables in. Let's start with our green on the bottom for our green LED. Go, that's the green done. Now we want our one end of our live, of what will be our live cable, going into the center of the switch. There we go, there's our live. And then we want our uh, red LED, a red color cable in the top. And there it is. Okay guys, so there's our LED. We've got our red and our orange cable attached to the top and the bottom. And then we've got our ground cable, sorry, our live cable in the center. So next we need to attach these cables and our ground cable from the LED, which is the black one. We need to attach the black cable as well. And 
then that's it it's pretty much done so let's move on to that last little bit and uh, check to see if it works okay guys so now it's time to solder our live and ground points which will be our black and blue cable respectively um, I was going to dis disconnect this um, this little connector for the old LED and use this point here but I think in hindsight um, I'm gonna leave this uh, I'm gonna leave this connector connected to the board because it, it may come in handy in the future you never know I might want to go back to just having a single color LED and instead of messing around with all the wires I can desolder the wires and then just use this again with a with a two prong LED so I'm just gonna tuck that under the motherboard there basically like that and I'm instead gonna use this point here um, which is identical to this so um, you've got two numbers on here number one is your live and number two is your ground so I'm just going to solder up these two points a little bit more connect the blue cable and the black cable to this and then we can test it and it should be good and it should be finished so uh, let's do that now and see how we go Okay, that's our points done. Okay guys, so let's add our blue cable to point one for our power. Just make sure that your um, exposed wire isn't too long because these points are quite small uh, and you don't want them falling out. That's one, and then our black for our ground. To point two. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change hands. There we go. Just want a little bit too much solder there. Just gonna get rid of it a little bit. There we go. Right, cool. So that's done. So now let's uh, add some power and just make sure our switch is working. Okay guys, so here's our LED and hopefully we'll be good to go. So currently, let's set, let's set us to the stock position. So with a bit of luck, we should get a green LED now when I turn this on, provided, yep. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hey, there's our green LED. Then our center position will show will, will be off because that shows that our CPU is disengaged and then in the up position we should get a red LED hey there we go so that's all done so now the final part really is just seating the LED bung in some uh, hot glue on it just to make sure it doesn't fall out uh, fall out when you turn the lid upside on the up, up, up the right way um, and that is that as they say okay guys so we've got our uh, LED seated in here I'm just gonna bend the legs down like so that'll help keep the LED in the right place um, now I'm just gonna add myself a little bit of hot glue over here well a liberal amount actually just to make sure it all stays uh, nice and uh, seated there and uh, isn't gonna move around so let's just quickly get some hot glue in on there put it back together and then we should be good to go So there we go guys, there's our uh, LED seated nice uh, with the hot glue there. Um, so we're pretty much done, all we've got to do now is make sure our Mega Drive, um, the cables for our mods don't run across the cartridge port, put the Mega Drive back together and um, give it a final test. Okay guys, so Mega Drive's all back together and as you can see, um, we've got our green LED there and we put our um, overclock switch into the center position, LED goes off to show the CPU's disengaged and then finally our up position to show that our CPU is overclocked. So that is basically it guys. So as usual, all the um, components and stuff will be in the description for you. So you can find the right bits and pieces that you need to do this mod. And so I just wanna point you towards um, a few channels which are absolutely amazing and have really helped me during my modifications. There's uh, Retro Game Tech, 
who has got a really good set of videos on his channel, um, all kinds of modifications and eBay pickups and all that type of thing, uh, fixing junk uh, from eBay, etc. Uh, and then there's the Damo Monster. Um, he's, he's a bit of a demon when it comes to doing modifications from the Mega Drive uh, and many other systems too. And uh, last but not least is uh, Gadget UK 164. Um, again, an, another really amazing uh, mod channel, um, and, and it's definitely definitely check out those guys because their channels are awesome and they're pretty much dedicated to modifying stuff. So yeah, guys, that's it. I really hope you've enjoyed this Mega Drive mod series. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, good luck on your own little projects. So uh, take care, and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.